It was one of Russia's most important warships, but tonight it has sunk, according to Russian officials, after its crew was evacuated. The Ukrainians claim their cruise missiles hit the Moskva, which is named for Moscow in the Black Sea. Russia says there was no attack, but that ammunition on board detonated. We cannot confirm uh, the Ukrainian reports that it was hit uh, by a missile, but we are also not in a position to refute that. The ship's loss is not just a military setback, but a symbolic embarrassment to Russian forces in southern and eastern Ukraine, where a senior U.S. official says they're now all located, though the anticipated major offensive in the east still has not begun. But in the eastern city of Kharkiv, the governor is already accusing Russian troops of new brutal attacks on civilians. As the fighting intensifies there, security fears are mounting around the world. Finland and Sweden are now seriously debating whether to join NATO, even though Russia's President Putin has warned of retaliation if they do so. While tonight, Ukraine's President Zelensky is blasting Europe for giving Putin an economic lifeline by still buying Russian oil. We don't understand how you can make money out of blood, he says. Today, in Makariv, west of Kyiv, where Russian soldiers recently retreated, we visited this one-time bakery where neighbors say Ukrainian troops had been staging. At least 15 people were killed here during an airstrike. The war coming right to 75-year-old Eva Shralenko's doorstep. There were bombs everywhere, she says. I was shivering all the time. In a nearby village, this member of the Ukrainian armed forces, nicknamed Wolf, showed us a schoolyard where he says Russian soldiers dug a trench to hide an armored vehicle, also rounding up men and executing them. Did you expect this type of brutality? Yes. Of course not, he says. Tonight, he and his fellow soldiers are bracing for a drawn-out fight as the war enters its eighth week. And Gabe is again in Kyiv tonight. Gabe, President Putin now seems to be acknowledging that sanctions are having an impact. Uh, yes, Lester. Putin said today that the sanctions were disrupting Russia's oil and gas industry, but then defiantly declared that Europe had no alternative to Russian oil and that Russia could find customers in Asian countries like China and India. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.